Hey loves and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be doing another set inspired by Disney. Now, funny story, <laughs> this was kind of a nail fail, but not in the way you're thinking. Like it didn't come out horrible. It just didn't come out the way I thought, but I still decided to upload it to show you that, you know, I have a lot of fails when I do nails. And so I wanted to start uploading those as well because... I don't want to just record something, take my time, and then end up not uploading it at all. And you guys get the chance to see that, you know, sometimes I do mess up and everybody does. So that's why I decided to upload it. So actually, like I said, these were supposed to be part of the Disney series. And I don't know if it should still count, but um, I asked my boyfriend what I should do next. And he told me to do emperor zerg or zerg from toy story and i thought great idea i want to do that because we had just watched toy story too so i was like let me do that and i decided to go with his colors which are um purple and red mostly he obviously has like yellow and black in it as well but i had this idea of doing the purple and red marble now like i said it was an idea in my mind and i thought oh it's gonna be so cute um, little did I think that they were gonna mix and then look like, uh, what were those called? The fruit by the foot, um, candies or snacks. And yeah, I didn't really like it. So that was the first problem, right? With the set. The second problem being that I was trying to do the Z, um, that he wears and like his logo. And then, um, that was a complete fail. So I started off by drawing it. I took so much of my time because i outlined it with pencil and i rarely do that um so that was my first mistake my second one was like as soon as i put down the yellow gel polish it mixed with the the lead pencil that i had like traced first and it just didn't come out cute so i honestly didn't even put that whole thing in where i started drawing the z i kept it only like the acrylic application part I didn't even get the chance to do the top coat, of course, because my plan was to do the top coat after the Z. Um, and so since I didn't even finish that up, I didn't get to do a top coat. And honestly, it would have looked really cute just a red and purple. That wasn't too bad. Um, but like I said, I had already done the Z. I tried doing it across three nails, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. And so it just looked not like a Z at the end. So that's why I decided not to post them, that part at least. Um, but either way, like I said, the red and purple part did come out cute. Um, it just did mix a little bit too much for my liking, but it's still cute. It reminds me of that snack, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, so anyways, the products that I'm using today, the Crafts by Nine Extra Long Square No C-Curve Tips, Kiara Sky Monomer along with the Kiara Sky Acrylic Brush, not polishes um products which i'm using one of their brand new ones which is this led lamp their lux pro lamp it honestly sold out the very first day they launched it but they will be bringing be bringing it back in stock um if you go on their website and you go on the lux pro you can put in your like email address and once it's back in stock it will email you and you will know when it's back in stock i 100 recommend it i did an unboxing of it just a few days ago so make sure to go check that out the clear acrylic is also from not polish and like i said like the colors were super super cute it had this set had so much potential i just really suck at drawing honestly and sometimes it works for me and sometimes it doesn't um i don't know if you watched my last video of the disney series but i mentioned that when i'm doing like characters I'm trying to kind of go back and forth between drawing the actual characters and then maybe the next set doing drawing something that has to do with the characters, maybe like a scene from the movie or something else versus just drawing the character right on my nail. And honestly, I think I should have just drawn Zerg because I don't know how something so easy became such a fail for me, <laughs> but it happens and 
that's something that i wanted to tell you guys like i decided to upload this and i'm definitely gonna upload more fails because a lot of the times before i would literally get upset with myself and just delete the whole um video and it would be like a long session of recording it would be like you know over 30 minutes or over an hour of me recording but i would get mad that i didn't finish or i didn't do something right and then i would just delete it and that's not something i want to do anymore because I want to put out this content because it's not all bad, right? Like maybe the finish or maybe some part of it, but it's not all going to be really bad. And that's something I want to let you guys know. If you guys are into like starting to get into content creating or starting to get into YouTube, don't be so hard on yourself. Upload it, you know, and then in the future, you can start seeing your progress. You're obviously going to get better with time, with practice. And so just upload it, even if you're not in love with how it came out, you will start seeing your progress and please excuse that, <laughs> but you will start seeing your progress. And that is something that I regret in the beginning of my nail journey. I didn't take pictures of everything. I didn't take videos of everything. I didn't like a lot of my stuff, so I just never posted them, never even took those pictures. And now I wish I did because I see all those TikToks of like, when you started versus now and it's something that i should have never been ashamed of because i was just a beginner at that point um but honestly i have nothing to compare it to now i know myself that i've obviously gotten better but i have no nothing to show because i never took photos in the beginning so that's why i always say take picture of all of your work even if you're not happy about it you of course want to be happy with your work but trust me when i tell you that with practice and overtime it will be so much better and you will be so happy that you took these photos of your beginning stages of when you started in the nail world. Trust me, I know from personal experience. <laughs> like I literally went through that. I wish I would have taken pictures in the beginning, but I didn't. Um, I only have a few, so it is what it is. But yeah, so I'm doing the marbling. In the pinky, I decided to do like the opposite i think i did red and then purple and then the other fingers i did purple and then red it does make a difference because you put one color on top of the other and one comes out more than the other um so i like to do is put the first two beads pretty wet um, i like to put a lot of monomer because you're going to move it around and make that marble effect i put the first two beads right below the where the nail tip meets the natural nail and then i work with that you don't want to mix it too much because then it'll just become one color and you're going to mix both colors. And yeah, that's not the point of marbling. And then the second one, um, the second bead or the next two beads, I place right above that. And then I kind of push it up into the cuticle area. Um, I don't like to put it right on the cuticle area first because then it like kind of spreads because I did get a lot of monomer. I like to work with really butt beads when it comes to marbling. Um, and then if I feel like I'm missing more, then I add more. If I feel like I'm missing a color, then I add that color wherever it needs to go. Um, I like to work with really thin, um, like a thin nail before encapsulating because I can add more if I feel the need to. And then I go in with my clear acrylic and encapsulate. I love the not polish um, clear because it leaves no bubbles. I have always mentioned that when working with clear and encapsulating, I make sure to use a really wet bead because um, when you work with dryer beads, it tends to leave air bubbles no matter what clear you're using. So it's always nicer to work with wetter beads. And of course, you can use my discount code with Not Polish with Kiara Sky and with Crafts by Nine. Um, Not Polish just launched a new Lux Pro. Kiara Sky just launched a whole bunch of new um, acrylic collections. And Crafts by Nine is launching um, new stuff on August 13th as well. Um, nail brushes and our glitter acrylic so you know make sure to check down below everything my amazon storefront is also linked down below so make sure to go check all that out and make sure to follow me on my instagram beauty by myra and crafts by nine so that is it for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching let me know down below in the comments what disney character you would like to see me do next on my nail set for my disney series and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.